okay let's start discussion about the unsteady flows okay so when we talk about the unsteady flow we have to move from simple form towards the unsteady application so in unsteady application in open form we have a couple of options so out of that we're going to first start working with the ICO form so let's first look at what ICO form has so for that go to the folder where exactly the ICO form is located so in the application area solver incompressible solver okay, ICO form and if you look at its .c file it gives certain descriptions it is a transient solver for incompressible laminar flow of a Newtonian fluid so with the help of the in ICO form we try to simulate any type of unsteady laminar flow but in the regime of laminar Newtonian fluid okay so we cannot go with non Newtonian aspect as well as in the turbulent zone okay. so that is its limitation so with the help of this particular uh, application we try to simulate couple of tutorials so that is the idea so uh, let me show you few aspect of our tutorial so I already uploaded this basic tutorial tar.zz uh, file okay so you have to extract that file and this is what you're going to get let me walk through the what is this tutorial bundle is all about so in this we're going to explore uh, basically ICO form okay and for that we going to rely on couple of tutorials one is the cavity our older tutorial and in the cavity we have a square cavity you have to execute for different Reynolds numbers okay then we move towards the skew cavity again different skewness so 90 is exactly the uh, square cavity only okay and uh, for this all skew cavity I, I suggest you also try to run all these test cases okay so even though it is a uh, so many cases but it give you the idea how when you change the Reynolds number what different parameter you supposed to change when you change the skewness what different setting you supposed to change okay so it give you that an advantage then we move towards the flow or a circular cylinder this is a standard unsteady uh, test case and it is a well uh, known test case in the fluid mechanics uh, or in the CFD area where people use this test case and did lots of validation studies okay for that we uh, try to look at the block mesh okay so here i will show you uh, different options in the block mesh file also and uh, with uh, after that i will ask you to create a different different mesh okay with the help of that block mesh and then uh, i will ask you to run for a different different uh, reynolds number okay and so here we uh, even you go with a very high re but we are in the turbulent zone okay but uh, with the help and but when we look at the ICO form it is for a laminar unsteady but when we go towards high re it converted as a dns type of the solver okay and uh, we able to simulate very nicely high re flow as well okay then we go towards another uh, tutorial it's called the elbow tutorial so that is the entire walkthrough of this bundle of tutorial for ICO form so let's uh, start with the cavity flow tutorial okay so let's first start with the cavity Okay, so in the ICO form tutorial you find the cavity inside the cavity you find the square cavity okay so when you look at the square cavity let's look at the readme file okay so in the square cavity it is for r equal to 400 okay so r equal to 400 it is the test uh, case re so let's make sure it is 400 only for that first create the mesh and this is the block mesh file and we going to use the non-uniform mesh okay so with the total mesh size is 60 if you want you increase to 200 by 100 so for that we are changing from 30 to 50 so we have 100 by 100 uh, size okay and if you want a particular near wall treatment then whatever i explained you in the previous uh, video please try to follow and set exactly what near wall treatment you require and we want everything in meters so no scaling is required okay and this is all about its block mesh file okay let's uh, open the terminal and uh, go to that folder initialize the variable of30x it give us the entire platform for open form uh, 3.0x now first let's look at it's readme file okay so readme file first clean the tutorial okay then block mesh 
check quickly how the mesh is look like it's appropriate any problem just check okay so this is the mesh okay so total uh, mesh size is 100 by 100 okay and it is a non uniform mesh with a finer mesh near the wall okay but how what is the exactly the uh, mesh size near the wall we didn't fix I, it is right now it is random way but later on if you want you can fix it exactly but then also it's something like 0 0.002 okay that is the mesh size uh, near to the wall okay so this is about the mesh size let's now quickly check do the check mesh so it gives us the idea any mesh has a problem or not so if you see it it possess total three patch moving wall fixed wall and front and back empty as I uh, told you that front and back empty uh, when we keep that means in that particular direction the open form not going to simulate so it is uh, behave as a uh, two dimensional flow total number of el element we have 10,000 okay and few more information we have so now let's run this case so for that again you have multiple options so I normally like to work with these options okay so let's see how it's going to work let's see the output okay so even though we are working with the unsteady solver but our physics is steady state okay so at the finally it going to reach the steady state approach okay so the what I suggest you run the same test case with the simple form okay and run with the ICO form and try to compare the result one to one okay so when you compare the result one to one it give you the similar result either you go with the unsteady solver or you go with the steady solver because our physics is steady so your result supposed to be steady even though you are working with the unsteady solver right now we are working with the unsteady solver but then also you are going to get a steady simulation only one thing we didn't check here is exactly which RE we are simulating okay so let me check this so yeah exactly we have 400 RE only okay so no worry uh, and this is the residual plot it's showing us it's going very nicely okay so you try to run entire simulations okay until it's uh, reach 10 to the power minus 6 okay uh, now few more entry M meanwhile we try to explore in the system folder so let's go towards its control dict file okay so here we have application ico form okay start from so this all entry we explore in the next session so we have multiple entries available important is this delta t in the previous case is a steady state so we fix it at one because it immaterial now it is not a uh, steady state simulation it is a transient simulation so we have to fix the delta t and uh, we have to fix the delta t based on the coherent number okay so uh, based on the coherent number one can fix the delta t so uh, either you fix the mesh size and or you can uh, based on the max mesh size you can fix the current number and based on the fixed current number you can set the delta t okay so that is how one can change the delta t very quickly and few more entry you can see here okay that is something like uh, this thing here we have max mean max of the domain okay so when we start exploring the uh, coprocessor utilities at that time i will explain you but few more entries you can see in this particular uh, tutorial along with that you can see some field averaging also why i kept this field averaging because uh, with the same setting if you want to work for let's say high reynolds number then for high re when you are on the transient domain then uh, you're not going to get uh, this uh, steady state result okay and then in that regard we required the time averaged flow field and at that point of time we require this few uh, other uh, utilities that we're going to explore later on but this option i kept in this particular tutorial okay along with that what different option available at a scheme level now we are working with a uh, transient so we have to specify ddt scheme okay so backward uh, facing scheme i used okay then for the gradient we have a linear uh, interpolation uh, scheme available for divergence also we have a second order accurate scheme okay laplacian we have ghost linear and orthogonal please remember we have orthogonal here because our mesh is orthogonal okay interpolation that is from cell 
center to the phase center we are relying on the second order accurate okay and sun gradient scheme is also orthogonal schemes okay so because right now we don't have a non orthogonal entries okay so that is what we have uh, here as far as the scheme is concerned along with that if you see the solution so same way we have a sol solver for pressure okay and now we have a multiple correction so for that we have a uh, few solver for final iter and for the other than final iter for pressure as well as we have a solver for uh, u equation and few entries for let's say piezo setting okay so outer corrector is 3 okay so when we go towards the algorithm you come to know what is our outer corrector and all these things but right now uh, uh, understand something like this way for a one uh, particular velocity okay it try to apply multiple time corrections okay so that is how piezo going to work and with this multiple time correction it try to stabilize the flow okay and along with this you have uh, another control for non uh, orthogonal mesh is the non orthogonal correction factor right now it is orthogonal mesh so we have a zero entry okay for that and this is how our residual is going on so it may take some time but meanwhile let uh, see how the simulation is going on okay as inside the paraform so it give us the idea okay so paraform and let's see the u contour okay. so slowly it developing the flow okay slowly it's creating the steady state nature of the flow okay so when it uh, fully converged so after it fully converged okay uh, that means when you try to look at this residuals okay let me show you again when this residual plot okay is wait it may take time yeah when this residual plot reach 10 to the power 6 or so okay at that point of time if you look at okay at then if you look at this history okay so after that this all supposed to start taking zero iterations okay because our physics is steady state so ideally you supposed to run till all this uh, linear solver getting zero iter okay for this as well as for pressure and everything like this way okay after uh, two correction pressure correction is immaterials uh, uh, what it mean right now we have a multiple correction this three corrector okay but uh, if we have only two corrector then also it going to work very nicely because we don't require additional corrector because at the third corrector it already taking the zero entry in the similar line uh, how we can say this simulation is converged completely if our residual is reached 10 to the power minus 6 or based on the grid uh, whatever we, whatever we specified each this iteration is taking either 0 0 okay or when we check the residuals okay along with that let me show the residual plot for a steady state this is some characterizations okay so you have a feeling based on the residual plot you can say few things about uh, it's uh, working okay so if you see the residual till it is going down and down okay sometime what happen as i told you previously it not go 10 to the power 6 or so but it only uh, go till 10 to the power 5 or something and then it become the flatter okay it not going down so it means that for provided mesh this is your final sum uh, final result or final uh, answer but if you want much uh, accurate then you refine the mesh and it will go again down okay that is one way to look at the uh, simulation progress another way to look at the simulation progress is to keep a certain probes inside your computational domain and try to uh, watch the important quantities on that particular um, probes okay and it give you the idea either the simulation going correctly or not okay so later on we explore that so i normally i never rely on this residual plot i always try to look at uh, my result and uh, convergence of the simulation based on that probe entry okay so probe is like imagine in uh, our computational domain we keep one point and on that particular point over a time we record u v w as well as p and when u v w and p become flatter for steady state simulation we can say that okay now it uh, simulation is not changing even though the iteration is progressing then we say okay now it is fully converged and whatever the answer we get it is appropriate based on the provided 
or given the mesh okay so that is how you can see let me uh, stop here this simulation so fg look with m percent sign okay uh, let me show you a few linux command okay when i gave um, when i start this simulation i gave this m percent sign with the m percent sign the simulation going in the background okay so now but i want to stop this simulation you have a multiple option either you say foreground okay okay first i will show you this last one N or you type a top command and here you have a this particular simulation going on if you don't want uh, uh, the final answer then just use this uh, pid and type minus 9 without uh, any stop and use this pid and enter it will kill the your simulation other option is type the foreground okay and now the command is come in the foreground then you say control c it will stop the simulations okay so there is a multiple ways or very uh, sophisticated way of stopping the simulation is something like here in the the control dict file okay you have a stop at the end in place of that you can have an entry right now okay so when you type right now it immediately stop and before it stop it try to uh, create a backup file and then it going to stop okay so that is how you can uh, work with this particular uh, tutorial so let's again go to the para form okay and check how the simulation progressed okay so let's look at the animations okay so over a time what is happening okay so after almost this <coughs> 11 second or so even though time is progressing but simulation is hardly progressing so we can say it's almost mature okay now let's uh, try to create a slice z normal okay. and on these slides let's try to look at the streamline okay with a high resolution okay. so this is the streamline and now we again starting okay so look it give you the idea how the simulation is progressing over a time so also try to watch this time okay right now it's still changing but after some time you will see that even time is progressing but hardly streamline is uh, changing uh, from here to there okay so you can play with this tool and it give you very nice animations very nice plot and uh, very nice line plot so many thing you can get with this particular para view okay but uh, for let's say uh, publication type of plotting i normally don't rely on para view i normally go with the tech plot it give very nice plotting okay but for uh, very quickly to judge the result and all this thing we normally rely on this para view as a post processor okay so look even though time is progressing but uh, look at this uh, primary vertex is hardly changing okay so even though time is progressing so it seems that at, at this point of time if we take a result it is comparable result okay but till if you look at residuals it's still going down okay so this is the few things you can explore with this uh, one particular test case okay so and look every point one second okay it uh, created the backup file Okay, so so many backup file is created within this. So let me first delete all the backup file. Okay, and clean the tutorial. Then we move towards another tutorial. Okay, so it is clean. Now this is what I showed you is about the square cavity. Okay, 